Welcome friends, welcome to another ice cream episode. Uh, today we're going to make a double chocolate ice cream, but we're going to do it a little bit differently than the ice creams we've been making lately, uh, which I consider kind of cheat ice creams. Oh, look at that. Just the right amount. Um, we've been making ice creams without eggs that you don't cook. Today we're going to make a cooked custard ice cream, and I think this is kind of the best ice cream, but it takes a little bit more work it takes a little bit longer, um, and oftentimes when the cheat recipe can get you 95% of the way there, um, then why not do the cheat recipe? But in this case, let's go all in. So I've put some cocoa powder in there, and I've got two cups of heavy whipping cream, which is 35% fat here where we live. And I'm just going to put just a touch in the bottom of the pot with the cocoa powder, and I'm going to whisk it to start... Um, to start mixing that cocoa powder into the cream. If you put too much cream in all at once, it's not gonna mix in, it's not gonna wet properly. So just a tiny little bit and then a little bit more. And once the cocoa is dissolved in the cream, you can pour the rest of the cream in and whisk it together. If you put the cream in first and then poured the cocoa on top, um, you'd have a really hard time getting it to dissolve. So I'm gonna put this onto the stove and we're going to heat this on medium high and we want to bring it to just about a boil. I hesitate to say a boil because you don't want to scald it, um, but you want to get it nice and hot just so it's almost simmering before we move on to the next step. Okay, the mixture is good and hot. So now I've got some dark chocolate and I'm just going to put this in and I'm going to stir this to mix and melt the chocolate. Might take a little bit. Uh, don't panic, but it will all melt, and just keep mixing it in. Okay, it's all mixed in. So I'm going to scrape this into a jug. I'm going to take the whisk, and I'm going to stick it over here because I'm still going to use it. So we scrape this into here. Just set this aside. Now, I'm going to reuse the pot. So I need a cup of homo milk. Uh, 2%, no not 2%, 3.25% is pretty much what you want, uh, but you can use 2% if that's what you have in your kitchen. Uh, the more fat, the creamier this ice cream is going to be. The more fat, the less water you're going to have. Uh, it's kind of a delicate dance to get the right texture. I found 3.25 works best. So the milk goes into the pot. I'm going to put this on the stove put in some sugar and some salt. Now, we want to heat this um, not quite to a boil. And it's completely fine that there's chocolate still in the pot. Now, while the milk is heating and the sugar is dissolving into it, I just want to whisk the egg yolks. Now, I've ended up using five egg yolks. Um, if you go back through the channel, you're going to find other recipes where we use six, eight, ten egg yolks in one of these cooked custard recipes. And those make amazing, amazing ice creams. The problem is, what do you do with ten egg whites? Um, it's just too much. I mean, you could do an angel food cake. Uh, I think those use 10 or 11, and there's probably a recipe that I will link to somewhere around us for one of our angel food cakes. But five egg, egg whites are easy to get rid of, um, easy to use in other dishes. So I've sort of landed on that as a compromise for the rest of my cooking and baking. Now, the milk is, uh, the milk is pretty hot. Now, we temper the egg yolks with the hot milk and just slowly pour the milk in, whisking constantly. Too fast and you get lumpy egg bits. Uh, the egg yolks scramble and you don't want that. You want a nice, smooth, smooth liquid here. So, now that this is all whisked together, back into the pot. And we're going to put this back on the heat. And the idea now is that we want to cook this custard uh, until it's nice and smooth to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. 170 degrees Fahrenheit is going to do two things. You're going to uh, cook the egg through, so it's completely cooked. So if you're worried about uncooked egg, this will take care of that. And it will also give you that nice, smooth, creamy, custardy texture. So, put it in. Um, get your thermometer handy. Okay, 
Okay, now a little bit of vanilla extract. And you put this in at the end because you don't want to burn off too many of the volatile compounds. Once that's mixed in, now we mix this uh, custard into the chocolate. So, uh, and you don't have to be too careful with your pouring. Just get it in there so you don't get it on the countertop. Okay, get this fully mixed in. Now, you want to let this chill down. You want to let this chill down before you put it into your ice cream maker. And there's a couple of reasons you don't want your ice cream maker to work too hard. Uh, once you put it in the ice cream maker, you want it to chill to frozen as quickly as possible to get the smallest ice crystals possible. And there's two schools of thought on this. A lot of people say you should chill this batter in the fridge for 24 hours. And that aging time leads to better flavor, better texture, um, and all kinds of other things. Uh, there's another school of thought of people who say, no, you don't have to do that because it doesn't do anything. It's just an old wives' tale. It has no basis. In fact, you don't need to leave it in the fridge for 24 hours. And so feel free to discuss that down below. I do highly suggest, though, that you at least chill this down to refrigerator temperature, which could take three or four hours. So I'm going to let this chill before we put it into the ice cream maker. But a little taste. Mm. Just like chocolate pudding. It's going to be so good. So good. Okay, so this is thickened up nicely. It's, um, it's not quite pudding. It still drips a little bit, but it is nice and thick. So I'm going to put it into the ice cream machine. Now, you don't need to have one of these ice cream machines. <clears throat> the ones with the bowl that you put in the freezer and get it cold, those work just as well. But you do want to use some kind of ice cream machine. Um, this recipe doesn't work very well if you just put it in the freezer and try to stir it every 15 or 20 minutes. You're just not going to get the consistency that you're looking for. Okay, it's all done. Off with the music. Now, you've heard me say this before, when it comes out of here, it's going to be soft serve. And you wanna put it in the freezer for an hour or two, just to firm up a little bit more. But hey, if you like soft serve, serve it right away. So, I'm gonna clean off the dasher and scrape out the bowl. Now, I'm putting this in a plastic bowl to go into the freezer. If you were using a glass or ceramic bowl, it would be best to chill it down ahead of time. Uh, that just keeps it from melting the ice cream when you put it in the bowl before it goes back in the freezer, uh, which gives you a better crystal structure. So, into the freezer, and I'll see you in a couple hours. Haha, I found this in the freezer. You've been busy. I have been. So this is a double chocolate cooked custard ice cream. Ooh, yeah. cooked custard ice cream. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. There's something... There really is something wonderful about a custard ice cream. Now, if you live in certain parts of the U.S., there is a great tradition of soft serve frozen custard, mm -hmm. which is essentially this just served as, as soft serve. And this is just an amazing ice cream. It's a really hot day, so ours is a bit mm -hmm. soft servey. <laughs> You've got to eat it fast. But it's got that lovely creamy texture. That texture. You, you come close with other types of ice cream to get that texture. But this really is the only one that can provide that texture. So you can play with the number of egg yolks. Definitely, if you want more egg yolks, use more egg yolks. Um, but I think five is a good compromise for this. And you could put chocolate chips in if you want a little bit of crunch. Yes. You, know, you could make it a triple chocolate ice cream. I'm going to stop talking and just eat the ice cream because this is really good. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.